So most of you guys that are watching this video are probably kind of using a you know VPN of some sort or even SmartDNS proxies one to unlock geo-restricted content on sites like Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, Apple TV Plus, there's a bunch of those and you're probably using it to secure your internet connection so that you protect your privacy. But in this video, we're not going to talk about all those regular ones that you normally hear about. We'll talk about the little known stuff that you normally don't hear on most YouTube videos. Anyway, here are some of the cool things that you can do with a VPN using real life examples. I'm pretty sure you probably haven't heard of these, but that's the game today. Let's see if you have or haven't. Anyway, let's begin. So there's tons of websites where you can only view a limited amount of articles or you have to pay before you can view a lot more of their content. For example, I often use the website called AppBrain, which reveals Android app insights, but you only get five free app searches and after that you'll have to pay. This would be totally fine if I'm using the service regularly but I have to use it just for one day so in that case you can just turn on the SmartDNS Proxies VPN and then switch to a different server and these sites track each user by their IP addresses. So if you switch your IPs using a VPN and then open the website in a new private browsing window, they'll treat you like a brand new visitor, although I highly recommend paying for the service if you're going to use it more frequently. So just like HBO Max, Peacock and Hulu, which are geo-restricted, there are certain games that can only be played in a specific country. So for example, if you try and access NVIDIA GeForce Now outside of its 71 supported countries, you'll be greeted with, you know, GeForce Now is not currently available in your region, that kind of stuff. Now this is just one example. There are many games on Android and iOS, like say, you know, PUBG is blocked in India and Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is only available in US, so if you want to play it in you know, Latin America or Asia, you really can't do that. So if you want to overcome this, you need to switch to, you know, SmartDNS Proxies VPN again, and then download the gaming app, and then start playing. To find a detailed video on this, click on the YouTube cards right in the corner. So if you do your research on the internet, which probably most people like students and professors and other occupations usually do, this one's a good one. Google shows personalized results. Here's a side-by-side -side Google search results of the same keyword on incognito, but you can see the results are different. While this one has Quora and different videos, while the other search result from the country Australia has none of that. So if you wanna make content for say Austrian audience, I need to know what search results they would see for that to happen. So I would switch STP server to Australia and so on and so forth. So BitTorrent and other torrents are quite popular on the internet because they can be used to download a lot of stuff, even including copyrighted legal downloads. So there's plenty of legal use cases such as downloading a Linux distro or open source software like, you know, LibreOffice. However, even if you use Torrent for legal activities, you might get noticed by specific agencies such as MPAA, Motion Picture Association of America, and the NSA, National Security Agency in America. Thankfully, STB comes with a special Torrent-based server built in which will protect you from these prying eyes. Of course, we highly recommend you using Torrent for legal purposes only. So this tip is little known when using a VPN because as you know, most people will shop online. So say if I'm buying an online service like, you know, Ahref, which basically lets you analyze website performance. And as you can see, the one year subscription costs about $999, which is fair enough. Now, if I change my country to that of Europe, like say Sweden, then there's a 25% tax on top of that, which is like 250.90 euros on top of that. Similarly, if I switch the country to India, there's an 18% GST tax, so I have to pay about 180 more. Now this would make sense if I have a registered company where I'll be able to make the claim back as an extra tax credit. However, if you're an individual or a student or even expat, then you can consider using a VPN and switch your country to US, which doesn't really have extra taxes involved. Obviously, we highly recommend you know consulting a financial advisor first. 
Well, that's it. Those were lists of the cool things that you can do with a VPN that you probably didn't know about. Well, that's not for me to say because you probably knew or didn't know, or you might have been cheating and say that you did know. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below. As always, I'm Vamzi. Thanks for watching. And if you're new here, subscribe. That way you get notified every time we put a new video like this. And I guess I'll just leave you on that one, on that bombshell. See ya.